Greetings, I am Schrodinger Deeps. Welcome to Armour 3 with the Hellenic Submarines mod. Today we are driving the Virginia class. We are armed to the teeth with a plethora of cruise missiles and torpedoes. We are fully prepared to deliver violence to the enemy. Currently tasked with a cruise missile strike on high value targets within this airfield. Human intelligence sources have recently confirmed that they are inside a large building already loaded onto vehicles with a fully mechanized escort on standby to move the devices. But of course, the enemy has decided to ensure this is a challenging operation. The airfield has fighter cover ready to scramble and anti-missile defenses including SeaWiz provided by multiple destroyers near to the airfield. Prior to attacking the base, these destroyers must be sunk. We have been ordered to utilize stealth to engage the enemy destroyers to facilitate a cruise missile assault immediately after. The anti-missile systems on board sport an 80% missile interception rate and should that fail the SeaWiz boasts 40% kill ratio. We will be using torpedoes against the destroyers. Okay, we're going to get right into it. Throughout the course of the engagement, you will see all of the elements that make the Hellenic Submarines mod what it is. First things first, we're going to dive the submarine by the depth control panel. And the pass with depth we go. Stunning. And we are going to endeavour to maintain a tactical picture. So we're going to bring up our sonar screen. You'll notice we've got short, medium, far, active and passive sensors. At the minute, you can see nothing. Now, seeing nothing when passive doesn't mean that there isn't anything to see. What it means is that nothing has their engine running or they are silent. So, we need to proceed towards the target. We have a couple of ways of doing this. We can use the navigation map and just click where we want to move. We can sit down and drive the submarine as we would if it was multi-crew. Or we can just command the man to move forward. What we are going to do is we are going to use the navigation map and tell him to get a shift on closer. Move to grid zero, zero, seven, zero, three, four. To where we plan on engaging. Perfect. And here we go. It's on. Now as we go, we'll be keeping a close eye on the sonar, maintaining our tactical awareness to make sure nothing sneaks up on us. While we inevitably sneak up on them. Okay, I have stopped the submarine because right at the edge of our sonar display, we have a contact pinging away. We need to know what that is, so we're going to do a quick look with the periscope. Old report, attack going up for target setup. Let's see what we got. And we can't see much of anything to be fair. It is far away though. So we're going to continue to advance upon the enemy and classify the unknown enemy contact. Well, onwards. We have two contacts now showing. We have to be very careful with this. Stop. 
get that periscope back up. Ah, there's something there. Coming out of the haze, we do have a merchant vessel. Perfect. It's a nice opportunity to demonstrate how the torpedo system works. At present, she is too far away. What we do is we use the submarine status display. When she is close enough it will indicate target information which we can use to send in a wire guided torpedo. Now we could use a passive or active weapon. However, we do not need to do that yet. Instead we'll let it get a little bit closer We'll shoot it from a safe distance. Nice. And there she is. Dead ahead, 2,000 meters. Let's take her down. So, get our eyes on, on the periscope. There she is, steaming towards us. Perfect opportunity to shoot her in the face. Bring up the status window and you will notice it is now indicating on our fire control computer. Next. Fire control console. We're going to have it configured for wired so we can see the exact time of impact as you will see in a moment. The weapon going. Time until impact is rapidly counting down. There we go. Five seconds. Perfect. There's delayed sound waves. Absolutely beautiful. Off she goes. First for Davy Jones, on to the next. And there is a destroyer in the haze. Okay. Check sonar. So it does appear the destroyer has started her engines. That's dangerous. But we're keeping a close eye on her. So we're going to put the periscope down and continue to advance upon the enemy. Once we have got these destroyers zero, zero, nine, zero, out of the way, we will be in a position to attack the airbase. Of course, anti-ship missiles are completely useless right now due to the effective anti-air and anti-missile systems on board the destroyers. There's something making noise up there, not a clue what that is. Could be further away down the island, could be a small craft, speedboat, rib, any number of things. What we need to know now is where are the destroyers? It appears they do not have their engines running yet, which is promising. So we're going to use the periscope wake them up with a weapon. Let's see. There they are. A pair of destroyers patiently waiting to die. <laughs> Alright, we're going to send a weapon towards those guys. So, we're going to want an active weapon, especially if they aren't moving, otherwise it'll never find them. And we're going to send just the one, otherwise it is likely both weapons that are going to attack the same destroyer. Let's see what happens. 
There it goes. So, I have no way of knowing which warship is going to take that hit first. So we must wait and see. This looks like a reasonable position. Stand by for the action. Ah, their engines have just come alive. There's something else fired, likely a decoy. So they know death is indeed inbound. She goes. First for David Jones. <laughs> right. More the same, if you please. For the next, we have the rather terrifying view of inside of the airfield's tower. Of the impending destruction heading straight towards the enemy destroyer. She's moving. Oh, she could be... Oh, there she goes. Thought she was going to be right on the offence there. She may have got a weapon out. We're going to have to take that very seriously. But right back on we go. Okay, so we're going to launch a decoy. We're going to make a quick trip to the driver's seat. We get a heck out of dodge. Okay, the final phase in our mission. Delivering a cruise missile strike. Here, we can select up to five waypoints. We can drive the weapon home over the terrain. They are terrain following, providing the uh, elevation does not change too sharply. We can send them wherever we want. Thus, driving around various issues such as anti-air or radar. Now, we need to open our missile silos. Let's do this. Beautiful. So, let's send a missile down the coast and to where it needs to go. To do that, select a waypoint. Move to grid zero, one, eight, zero, three, one. And so on and so Move forth. Grid zero, one, nine, zero, four, three. And finally, send it right there. Boom. Move to grid zero, two, one, zero, five, seven. Okay. Stop. Make sure that we are all stop and prepare to fire. I should absolutely point out that this first stage is in slow motion because this shifts. There's this booster finished. In a moment, the wings will come out. There's the wings. And as you can see, she's following the terrain. Excellent. It's going to zip ahead. There's our target. Awesome. And our cruise missile is following the terrain. Well on its way. There it is. Death that bearing. Full speed ahead.
<laughs> Stunning. So, let's let our intel guys know that we need to perform a quick recon. Human intelligence sources have a look at the damaged area. See if we need to do anything else. Whoa, serious damage. Whew. One mission critical target remains. So we better send another one in. Why not? Yeah, we'll watch it from the top of that mountain, I think. That looks like a nice spot. Okay. So. Cruise missile control. I'm not going to set up lots of waypoints this time. Clear all the waypoints that are set. Straight to our target. It's about there. We'll send one there. Fire! Here we are atop the mountain. Launch plume evident on the horizon. Cruise missile is inbound. There she goes. Absolutely beautiful. Quite a substantial area of effect. The helicopter has also been destroyed. Not to mention whatever that was. <laughs> Let's have a look down the bottom. See what the men report from the ground. Surveying the damage, we see that. All mission objectives have been successfully destroyed. With some very pleasurable collateral damage. So there we have it. Mission accomplished. Very good. So on that bombshell, this concludes your broadcast day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this first excursion, to Armour 3 utilising the Hellenic Navy mod with submarines. Please consider liking and subscribing. It was a pleasure to make. However, still here, well, welcome to bonus footage of what an attack would look like if I wasn't following the flight of the missile. Well, there we have it. I don't think they walked away from that one. For real now. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this concludes your broadcast day.